Empowering women through self-defense, Rick Kohler created a new 60-minute empowerment workshop in response to the Me Too movement that concentrates on sexual harassment and abuse. He joins us this morning to tell us a little bit more about the program. Thanks for being with us. And thank you for having me. And Rich, you are the owner of Elite Karate as well. T tell us why you started this workshop called Hands Off. Right. Well, at the beginning of the year, uh, I was hearing all the stories in the media about the women being harassed, the sexual harassment, the abuse, and just people using power positions to dominate people. And I just, I've been training in, for 30 years mm. in self-defense and I wanted to do something about it. And I made a mission. I said, I'm gonna empower a thousand women this year. Uh, and the first thing I did was I teamed up with one of the largest uh, domestic violence support groups in Connecticut, Interval House. Mm -hmm. And I told them, I said, I wanna support you guys and I'm gonna do it through these workshops. So I created a workshop and it's, I'm just getting out there and I'm doing them all over. Yeah, when you talk about all over, where are these workshops held? Well, I, I hold them at my studio in Glastonbury, okay. but also on site. So the thing about these workshops is I can do them anywhere. I take the okay. show on the road. So. What can people expect when they attend one? What goes on? Right. Well, a lot of time the women have this preconceived um, notion that it's going to be, you know, doing all these moves and they're going to have the right. big red padded suit guy come out. When actually, the reality is in a real self-defense or violence situation, skill is 10%. 90% is mindset. Hmm. So, and I know this as an expert in self-defense, you can teach them the skills, but under pressure, most of them are gonna forget it because most, most people don't have that aggressive personality. Right. Um, and like I always say, a violent criminal does not train on how to be more violent. No. They have the mindset. So this workshop was about empowering women through a physical vehicle, self-defense, challenging fitness routine and and basically have them discover that the limited beliefs don't have to be there they can be strong so i take them through yes we use self-defense moves they're very simple it's fast there's a narrated music track that really inspires them gets them empowered and they're pushing through and all i hear a lot of times is oh i can't do that i can't and then they do it and you see their eyes and you say mm -hmm. yes that's what we're talking about yeah it they will feel that they're more powerful or exactly. know that they're more powerful than they ever thought that they could be. Exactly. And I want them to be what we call a hard target. See, these women, especially women, but it happens to men as well, but the women, you know, they're, they're getting controlled by these people in power positions, and they don't have to be celebrities. These are our moms. These are our daughters, our sisters. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want them to be that hard target. When somebody goes to control somebody, they're doing it because they know they can. So when a woman is confident, I'm not gonna put up, I'm not gonna be disrespected. And she, the only way to have that is by challenging herself. And one of the best ways is physically. So with challenge comes change, but you gotta challenge yourself. This is a great way to do it. You have one coming up at the end of the month too. Give me the details I on do. that. On June 27th, I have a group coming in, Crew, Connecticut Real Estate Women. Awesome group. Uh, they're coming in, we're gonna do, we're expecting about 50 women. Okay. It's gonna be huge. Um, they're donate, they're doing a whole donation to Interval House will be there. Um, they're really excited. So we do them for all different kinds of groups. Daycares, uh, Chamber of Commerce, organizations, businesses. And I've never had so many businesses come to me because I do them for free. I was gonna say the I money, any money that you get donated. I'm on a mission. It, I want to help to, these yeah. women. It, it goes to Interval House. I yeah. work with them. We're actually planning a huge event in October for National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We're expecting hundreds of women, right. so it's gonna be great. It's awesome. gonna be great towards my mission. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. We'll check yeah. back in with you then. Thank, um, you. thank you so much for being here. Thank you.